Hey, this is Marvin the Run Testers, and this is our review of the On Cloud Vista. So here's a quick rundown of the key details you need to know about the On Cloud Vista. On says it's a road to trail shoe and it's priced at £130 in the UK and $140 in the US. It's a shoe with a 7mm heel toe drop and weighs in 280 grams for the men's shoe and 235 grams for the women's shoe. The upper is made from polyester with a TPU mudguard to help fend off dirt and mud, joined by a thin perforated tongue and thin laces. On uses its helium super foam and signature Cloudtech midsole with a polymer-based speedball plate placed in between the midsole and the upper. On the outsole, there's a similar mission grip outsole that featured on On's Cloud Ultra Trail shoe. On suggests this isn't a shoe necessarily designed to race in, but is designed for short to medium distance runs. So fit for me was generally okay. Now On does kind of recommend that you should go half a size up in the shoe, and I can kind of see why that would be the case. I mean, it was fine for me in my UK size eight, which is what I normally wear. I definitely see or could see that, you know, I could have a little bit more space up there, but actually I didn't get any real kind of discomfort in this shoe. You know, I've got quite a narrow foot and it, it worked okay for me, but I think for a lot of people may need to look at going up half a size. Uh, in terms of other kind of elements, uh, in terms of the fit, the tongue, you know, it's a really kind of thin tongue and that kind of sits, it sat for me quite, you know, securely on the top of my foot. Um, you don't have a huge amount of padding here, but just enough, I think, there around the heel. And then you've got a little bit of structure kind of in the inside the shoe uh, where you've got kind of quite soft insole uh, and you've got that structure from kind of mid foot up to kind of, you know, the heel as well. Um, the laces are quite thin, a little bit fiddly to kind of um, tie, I would say, but generally they were fine for me as well. So, yeah. Overall fit was good for me. Um, probably going to need to go half a size up. I think most people, if you've got, you know, you, you may may going to want that extra space there. But for me, it worked pretty well overall. Um, yeah, no major issues on the fit front. Just a little note on the look of the On Cloud Vista. Now, I think most of the men's and women's shoes are available in kind of mostly white colorways. I think they've added a couple of different colors recently. Um, so from that point of view, if you're going to run a lot of trails in this, you're going to go through a lot of mud in these shoes or planning to, it is going to start to pick up that mud. I think you kind of see a little bit on this kind of um, TPU mud guard that kind of on have put here. Um, it's starting to get a little bit grubby in places, you know, white trail shoes. Ultimately, you know, I guess it is a road to trail shoe, so it's made for kind of both conditions or both kind of running terrain. But uh, I would suggest, you know, stick to the kind of road, stick to the kind of harder trails if you kind of value how the shoe looks or you want it to look kind of long term. So in terms of my run test, I've done over 50K in the On Cloud Vista now. Um, and that's kind of been a mixture of road stuff, a mixture of road to trail, which is where this is kind of designed. Um, some kind of big kind of hilly kind of trails for me. Also just kind of some easy kind of flatter kind of park trail style um, off-road routes as well. And actually, um, it's it's done pretty well for me in terms of the, the kind of locations and, you know, the types of runs that I've done with it. Um you know, my fear was it would be a firm shoe. A lot of on shoes are firm. Uh, you've got that kind of Cloudtech uh, midsole. You've got that kind of speedboard um, kind of plate sandwiched, you know, in between the midsole and the upper here as well to kind of give you that kind of nice little kind of push off at the toe. Um, and I think the ride actually sits somewhere in between kind of being soft and firm. I don't think it's too soft unsurprisingly, but I also don't think it's as firm as something like the uh, on Cloud Ultra, which, you know, there's characteristics of that um, trail shoe in this shoe as well. But I think, you know, the ride felt very consistent. Um, I didn't get any kind of discomfort on my runs. I definitely would be hesitant um, definitely to run long in this shoe. I think for a couple of reasons, I don't think there's a, there's a massive amount of protection here. I think, you know, you are well protected, I think on short and, and kind of middle distances, but um, you know, there's not much here up front in terms of what you're getting. There's not a lot of space as well. I don't think uh, the toe box to kind of let your kind of feet kind of um, spread out a little bit more when you're kind of running for a little bit longer. Um, but generally on kind of those kind of park trails and um, those kind of flatter, kind of you know roads and um kind of off-road uh, kind of routes it works pretty well for me you know this mission grip uh, outsole which again is very similar to um the cloud ultra um outsole as well in terms of the types of lugs you know they're not massively um deep lugs and i think you know in kind of softer 
um, kind of surfaces, it didn't, you know, feel massively great. Uh, I think, you know, in wet conditions, it's not going to be ideal. I think if you stick to kind of harder, kind of, you know, very kind of reliable kind of trails, I think it works relatively fine. And it did for me. Um, so yeah, in terms of my run test, I think generally I had pretty solid runs with it. I definitely enjoyed the kind of shorter to kind of middle distance runs in this. As a road to trail shoe, I think it worked pretty well as an on shoe i think you know it's one of the nicest shoes i've used um you know i didn't have a bad run in this shoe um it didn't you know absolutely blow me away but actually i was kind of pleasantly surprised at the experience i got so yeah in terms of my running experience with the on cloud vista all pretty solid overall um no major issues um but i do think yeah it's i wouldn't you know i wouldn't say it's something that you would want to race in i don't think it's something that you would want to go long in but there are elements of this shoe that do make it suitable for the kind of road to trail kind of you know scenario uh, and yeah it worked pretty well on those fronts um, for me overall so verdict on the on cloud vista and actually it's been one of the more enjoyable shoes or on shoes that i've run it in recently um i think you know it one it works it does work well on road and trail and i think you know if you can keep it clean you know it's not too bad to kind of keep on in between those times as well typically like a lot of on shoes it's definitely best suited i think to kind of harder kind of trails um nothing kind of too complex i don't think either i don't think the level of protection is there to really go long in it i definitely think it's one for kind of short kind of middle distances i wouldn't particularly race in it i think it's you know relatively nimble but um and you can go you know relatively kind of quick in it i think but i don't think i would i don't think i'd potentially kind of race in it um and if you look at the kind of road to trail shoe options that are out there and just based on the things that i've tested um i think you know i would probably opt for the kind of nike pegasus trail over it um I think the Adidas Terex um, Ultra Parley is a really strong road to trail shoe as well. Um, I think the Saucony Peregrine 12 as well, which works a little bit better. I think on kind of wetter surfaces where I think this kind of struggled a little bit. I think the, you know, it's a less, a le these are less firm shoes compared to this. I mean, this is definitely a good combination in terms of that kind of, it sits quite well between that firm and soft uh, kind of cushioning, I think for an on shoe. Um, and yeah, I think uh, the Innovate Park Claw, which I'm testing at the moment, I think that's potentially one that might end up being my road to trial shoe. I've kind of really enjoyed my early runs in that. So I think if you look at the price, uh, kind of 100, kind of 30, 40 pounds for this shoe, um, you know, it's expensive. I think you could probably get a cheaper road to trial shoe that would give you something a little bit more um, kind of mixed in terms of the protection, in terms of the ride. But actually, um, I kind of enjoyed running in the shoes generally it's been a solid shoe overall if you're looking for an on shoe that is a road to trail shoe um that kind of offers you know enough protection and a, you know a reasonably nice ride as well i think this is a good option so yeah overall pretty good uh, probably not the shoe that's going to make it into my kind of rotation for a road to trail shoe but i think you know it's one that i've kind of overall kind of you know quite enjoyed running in <laughs>